It's been about a week or two since I did an update, so um, cars back together. I have the wolf out there, which I really don't like it there because some problems I know is going to happen, but I'm just going to say for now, whatever. Um, we went from two inch to two and a half, uh, 45 to two and a half straight, to three inch to the map, and then to the throw body. So that's a little bit smoother. Hopefully it runs a little bit better. Um, right now the car's still idle is fine. But as soon as you give it any bit of gas, it just falls flat on its face due to the bigger intercooler piping there. Um, but besides that, the car is still dusty as hell. Paw prints all over it from the cat that's in here. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get the bumper back on here soon. I'm probably going to end up welding something right here. So we can actually hook it up to the winter on the trailer, make it a little bit easier, because my dumbass the intercooler there, such a crappy spot, and didn't run that intercooler piping the right way. Just so it gets tuned, we can drive around, see how it does, see if this is the way we want to go. But after that, I'll probably go two and a half from the turbo down and around like normal, and actually get a two and a half inch intercooler and piping the whole way up, and get the car retuned. Besides that, anything's still normal on the car. Probably pull the rear end out, or jack the rear end up, check the fluid, make sure it's still in there. Besides that, uh, definitely need to make sure I still have the tuner that the shop gave me. It should be somewhere. It's right there behind the seats. Box of all the spare parts. Um, for some reason... I get a lot of questions on Instagram why I have the fire extinguisher in the car. It's not a track car. It's hopefully be a drift car. But I just want to keep it in there for safety because we didn't mess a lot with fuel lines. And we didn't do them all one piece like we should. So most of it's all his hose clamps and stupid shit like that. So I definitely want to make sure I'm safe. Don't want those if they blew off. I have a precaution there. But besides that, everything's still good on the car. And I want to say one thing about this whole car that I love now that it's side exit is there's no more tailpipes with a V6 bumper. That shit was so ugly. But now it actually looks good. There's nothing there. But you guys can see why I had air fenders. I don't know if you can see on camera how well it shows but how thick the tires actually are and how much of an offset there is. Now uh, let me know what you guys would like to see in this channel. Would you actually like to see videos of this car possibly in the track within the next few months? Hopefully this coronavirus stuff gets all gone within a month or two. I don't see why it's why and how it lasts that long. Other countries are starting to get back on track, so we should be here shortly too. Besides that, uh, Friday I'll post a new video. We're going to the dyno Friday morning at nine o'clock, and hopefully this time everything runs right. It's good, and we can make some power out of it. Do them. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, whatever you guys want to follow me on. Everything is the same username. So make sure you like the video.